guys, for this tutorial, you will need some yarn. You can use any yarn you like. Please find the materials and the links in the description box below for computer users and for mobile devices on the side. So I'm using here a nine millimeter crochet hook. We'll also need stitch markers, a tapestry needle and scissors. We start with a magic ring. And you secure this ring by chaining one. Okay, and we need a multiple of eight. So we will crochet eight stitches and we'll crochet eight half double crochets through this ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. For everyone who does not know how to do a magic ring or how to do a half double crochet, so how to do front post or back post stitches, please visit our website, wopedia.de, and then you will find basic courses for beginners for each stitch so you just go over english crochet tutorials and basics okay so if you crochet your eight stitches through the ring then you take this short strand and you pull and pull really tight so that you close this opening and we have no hole anymore then we join this round and i'm going through the back here and i slip stitch Okay, and we join this round. Then you take a stitch marker and you put it into your stitch. And now we will crochet the first round. And for the first round, you chain one. And in the first round, we'll increase every stitch. That means two half double crochet through each stitch. So through the next stitch, one half double crochet, and the second also through the same stitch. Okay, through the next one, one and the second, and so on until the end of the row. Always two half double crochets through one stitch. Okay, so that's your first round. You take out the stitch marker and you can see here one stitch and the second and we're going through the second stitch from the back side and we slip stitch. Okay, then you put your stitch marker back through the stitch. And then you chain one and we are now in the second round and in the second round we will increase every second stitch so you crochet one half double crochet through the next stitch and two half double crochets through the second okay one and two through the second one and two.
So this is your round two and you take out the stitch marker and join also this round. And then we set the marker again. And chain one. So and now you're in round three, and in round three we increase every third stitch. That means one half double crochet, the next through the next stitch, and through the third stitch again two. And so on. So you will also join at this point and start the new round. And in the fourth round you will increase every fourth stitch, in the fifth round every fifth stitch, and so on. And you continue doing this until your bottom is big enough. Okay, so this is how it looks like so far. And these are eight rounds. And now we'll start crocheting the basket weave pattern. And for this I also chain one to start the round. And we start to crochet front post double crochet. So you see here the next half double crochet. So this one is the next and we'll, we'll crochet under this half double crochet. I will crochet four front post double crochets. And the fourth one. And then we crochet four half double crochets as we did before. One, two, three, and four. So that's why we need a multiple of eight, four and four. Okay, so now we continue again. We crochet four front post double crochets. And for this we have to count. So the last one was here, so you see this yarn is around this half double crochet. So we have to count from here. One, two, three, four. And under the fifths, we continue. Okay. One, two, three. and four and then again four half double crochets one two three and four and then again so this was the last one one, two, three, four, and here is our next half double crochet for the front post double crochet. And the second, third, and fourth. And then again, four half double crochet, and you continue doing this until we reach the marker. And then I will show you how to continue. So this is how it looks like so far. And I started by crocheting four front post double crochets and I ended up by crocheting four half double crochets. So if you don't come up with these stitches, then you maybe have a mistake by increasing or you have a counting mistake, but this doesn't matter. You can skip some stitches in between in this round to come out with four half double crochets. So I joined this round and for the next round we also chain one and we will crochet one front post double crochet over the front post before like this. So the second, third, and the fourth and we will crochet four half double crochets over 
the half double crochets before. So you see you have here your front posts and here your half double crochets, okay? Then you continue for front post double crochet. So on until the end of your round so you will join the round as usual and you will crochet two rounds more so we'll, we will have four rounds with our basket weave at all and then I will show you how to change the pattern so this is how it looks like after four rounds you have here your front post double crochets and here only your half double crochets and what we will do now we will change the pattern so we will switch it so you also start here by chaining one and here we have our front posts and we will crochet here only half double crochets four half double crochets the third and the fourth and here you have your half double crochets and here we will crochet front post double crochets one two, three, and four. Here you have your front post and we switch to half double crochets. Two, three, and four. And you continue this way until you reach the marker again. And then you crochet four rounds the same way as you did before here. And you will switch every time after four rounds. And you continue crocheting this way until your bag is long enough. But don't forget to leave enough space for our handles. So that's my work so far. And what I want to do now is to start decreasing to get a thinner shape. So I will decrease now every time on this side and on this side. So if you fold your work like this, we will always decrease here. And I will start a new round and I will also switch the pattern here. So we had here front post double crochets and I will switch to half double crochets. And I will decrease here using an invisible decrease. Okay, and then you have to crochet two more half double crochets so that you have three double crochets at all and then you continue your pattern and you crochet your front post double crochets after four again four half double crochets and so on and then if you fold your work so we'll have, we'll have here one side and if you fold your work you will decrease also here so it doesn't mean if you have half double crochets or front post double crochets you just decrease always on this side and on this side until you have the shape you like you also don't have to decrease. If you like this shape and you want to continue this way, it's also okay. So if your bag is big enough, we start a new round and we crochet only half double crochets. So one round without decreasing, without increasing, just half double crochets across the round all over half double crochets and we'll meet again at the marker so now i put some markers and these will be our handles and you can put them as you like and we will start this round also by chaining one and then you continue crocheting half double crochets so
and you continue crocheting until you mark her. Okay. This one we don't need anymore. And here we have to count stitches. So we have here in between one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. That means we have to chain seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you continue crocheting half double crochets from the second marker. This one we also don't need anymore. And you continue. And you will do the same as here, also on the other side. And then I will show you how to crochet over these stitches in the next round. So in the next round we start also with that chain one and then you continue crocheting half double crochets until your chain space And here we had seven stitches and we will crochet seven half double crochets through this space. So you just go under your chain and crochet seven half double crochets. So we have here number three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you continue over the normal stitches, also half double crochets. So and this is how it looks like. And you will do also the same on this side. And from now on, you just continue crocheting until your back is long enough. So you crochet just half double crochets in rounds, in joining rounds. So don't forget the stitch marker and then you're done. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Watch all the other videos and don't forget to subscribe to be notified about new patterns. Give us a thumbs up and until next time, bye bye.